Lizzy Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Today, we are gonna be making our way through Saffron City, is it? I'm pretty sure it's Saffron City. Uh, last episode, we were able to save Sylphco, and now the city sort of seems to be rejuvenated with less Team Rocket members and a lot more of normal civilians. We'll be going through, talking to everybody, seeing what's going on, and then battling this area's gym leader, since we haven't done that. I saw him! I saw the boss of Team Rocket escaping from the Sylph building! Hmm. Well, let me know if you see him again. I'll take him on again. <laughs> Get him out of the city. Hello. Yeah, Team Rocket is gone. I don't have to be afraid of to go outside anymore. So it seems like most people are just happy and rejoicing. There's lots of people now. You wouldn't believe how much power Saffron City burns through. It's through the roof. We've got to keep up the maintenance. Wow, okay. What about you? When I grew up, grow up, I want to work at Sylphco. It's got to be the coolest place to work. Well, good luck. Keep working hard. I'm sure you get there. And where did you come from? Oh, Pallet Town, huh? It's very nice and quiet there, I hear. It is, so far from waiting. There's like two houses there, maybe three. Huh, did you get rid of all those Team Rocket thugs? Thank you so much. What do you say? Do you want to try your hand at raising a Pokemon created by Sylph? You got Porygon! Last episode we got Lapras, today we get Porygon just for free. How cool is that? I'm super happy about that. Porygon Zeta will be added to the Pokedex. Super duper cool. What level is this one? I don't know. The only Pokemon that people anticipate can fly into space. None has managed that f the feat yet, however. Wow. That is super cool, because Porygon was created by Sylphco. How weird is that? I like it. Oh, can we talk to you again? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hi there, Fred. Fred looks like it wants to play. Porygon is so blocky and cute. That's very cool, we get ourselves a Porygon unlocked. And have we talked to everybody in here? I think we have. So of course, widely known to all, it's victims of its own fame, it tried to, yep, okay. So we will heal up real fast, just because, you know, I don't really know how hurting our Pokemon are after the uh, the battle with Giovanni. I don't think too much, but it's, it's always good to get our bases covered before we move any farther. And there we have it. Okay, well, thanks for waiting, no problem. Let us head out of here. And I mean, if there's any other people I can run into that I can talk to, I definitely will. But I think at this point, it really is just focusing on going to the, the gym leader and dealing with that. But I'll, I'll look around as thoroughly as I can. Hello. People fled from Saffron City in droves when those thugs came. They just start flocking back now. Definitely seems like it. What about you? You two, you two young friends beat Team Rocket? That's amazing. Well, thank you. Uh, oh, hey, look, you have a Pidgeot. I flew right here on my Pidgeot when I read that Team Rocket was invading Sylph, but shucks, it's already over? Sorry, I'm just a sucker for drama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how we fly with uh, Charizard. I mean, maybe we just can't do it in the cities. Are you the one who chased away Team Rocket? No, don't say a thing. I can just tell by the look in your eyes. Thank you, please take this. Ooh, we got a police set? That would be cool to check out soon. So we got like a police police clothing set. Hopefully we can lock all the clothing sets soon. There's no steel type, Jim, but I love it anyway. Yes, the steel type. Steel type moves are strong against fairy types. Gotcha. Okay, so before I do anything else, I do really need to stock up in the shop. I've really, really needed to for a good while now, so let's get to it. I have $215,000, so I should be good. We have 40 Ultra Balls, so that should be fine. I wanna buy like at least 10 normal potions. I wanna buy some smaller potions, or some bigger potions as well and just work our way out from that. So, uh, got that one, and then Super Potions, I need like nine more of these, and of course, we might actually end up using these in the trainer stuff, so I might have to come back and buy more afterwards, or the uh, gym leader stuff, but we'll worry about that once we get to it. I might wanna, oh, I don't wanna spend too much money on them, because Hyper Potions are very useful, we're restoring 120 HP, but we don't even, like some of our Pokemon don't even have 120 HP in total, so it's not the smartest thing to do. And things like Antidote, we always wanna make sure we have at least like five of these, I think that's always a good number to have. So like any kind of like healing mechanism, uh, burn heal, ice heal, awakening, we could use one more, but we do have the pokey flute, so we might not need it, but just in case, for whatever reason, we can't use the pokey flute in battle, I don't know if, that, if we actually can or not, we have our bases covered now. Paralyze heal, we actually have eight of, full heals, revives, uh, escape ropes, uh, repels, super repels, lures, I could use, you know, a couple more lures, why not? Yep, that's okay. I do wanna see, do we have elixirs we can buy? Super lore, I don't really need this. Or maybe I already passed the elixirs. Or maybe you just can't buy elixirs from this guy. Weird, we might have to go back to that big mall and uh, get some elixirs from there. Like, wherever we can get them, we need to buy a bunch of them. 
because we have a lot of moves that are very good, but don't have a lot of uses until they get burnt out. So, anyways, I think we're just about as good as we can get. It is the uh, Sabrina Gym Leader, and she's the master of psychic Pokemon. So let's hope this turns out okay. Whoa, look at this place. This is crazy. Oh, I love it. And there's a crowd up there. We're all in this, like these, like cool buildings are all like high tech. Yo, champ in the making, is surprised by all the glitz and glam. Saffron City is the biggest city in Kanto and its gym gets its fair share of challengers too. You'll need to have a Pokemon that's at least a level 45 if you want to stand any chance. Well, do you have one? Show me a Pokemon that's at least level 45. I don't know if I have one if you want to challenge the Saffron City gym. 44 for Lily. Mmm. I guess you don't have a Pokemon that's at least level 45, huh? So come back once you do. The Saffron City Gym won't be going anywhere. Weird. So we're gonna actually have to train up a little bit then. Um, that's fine. I mean, I think our best bet for doing that is probably just catching some Pokemon, of course. So we could just sort of look around, try to get like a good catch combo going on at the least, and maybe use some of our Pokemon candy before we go into it then. That's something I've been meaning to do as well. So yeah, let's get to it. I already see a couple of Pokemon over there. I don't know how to make Charizard fly, though. It might be something we don't have unlocked yet. He's feeling totally carefree, though. Uh, so let's just go down this way. And, okay, so I already see a couple of Growlithes. Doesn't really what the matter what the Pokemon are as long as we can start catching them. And let's just see if we can at the least get Lily to level 45, which should be fine. The only problem is that, oh wait, I should not be using a Great Ball for level 13 Growlithes. I'll have to change that. But the thing is, is that, I don't know, maybe I should go to a different area for catching Pokemon, because these guys are quite low level. It might not give me enough experience to really get going. I might actually have to leave, but 165 isn't that bad for like 10 seconds worth of work. But still, Lily has a long way to go is the problem. So I might just have to be careful about it. But for right now, let's just try a combo. Let's just try to combo up Growlithe as much as possible. But before we do, let's go to our bag. And from the Great Ball, let's go to, I mean, I guess Great Balls aren't that bad to use. Let's use a Premier Ball. I mean, I have a couple of these. And we get these for, you know, spending them at the shop, so you might as well just get another excellent. Our, this could be our first Premier Ball catch. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if they're any better than normal Pokeballs. I'm pretty sure they're not. All right, you got a Growlithe. Very cool. 166 experience for that one, but if we can just keep on getting a combo, we'll definitely be getting some major experience. So I might just want to avoid everything else and just try to keep going for Growlithe's. That is a Rattata, ah, but that Abra, so tempting, and the Jigglypuff isn't mad either. But you know what? I think I really will leave to a different area. I think it's gonna be a smarter idea overall. So I'm gonna go down and then to the right because that's where we had some slightly higher level ones. So I'll be right back. So yeah, here on Route 8, there were definitely some stronger Pokemon that we could try catching. I think these were some of the strongest Pokemon we've ran into yet, I think, maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Uh, but we'll go after these guys and just sort of see what ends up happening. Here's another uh, Pidgeotto, so that'll be cool. But yeah, let's talk about our goal for the, ooh, ah, uh, that could have been better. Um, let's talk about our goal for the gym leader. It's a psychic type gym leader, and that's sort of the problem, right? Is that we don't have anything that's particularly strong against psychic types. Oh man, my throat is so bad. Uh, because fighting and poison are weak against Psychic, but then Dark, Bug, and Ghost are strong against it. But we don't have any Dark, Bug, or Ghost type Pokemon. But that's fine, because that, we also don't have anything except for like uh, Kobe that is particularly weak against uh, Psychic type. So I think we'll be fine as long as we just use some of our other stronger Pokemon like Lily, Eve, and then just a whole set of starters. I think we'll be okay. I'm not doing very good right now <laughs> against this Pidgeot. Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, I think this is, okay. Oh no, this is a Pidgeotto, so we actually haven't caught this one before. You know what, though, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Great Ball. I thought this was just a Pidgeot. Or maybe, no, no, I'm getting that wrong. It, I keep on forgetting that, for whatever reason. Oh, and there it goes, right away. It goes Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, but I feel like it should go the other way around. That just doesn't sound right to me. Anyways, we'll just go for whatever Pokemon we can run into, Jigglypuff. I mean, they're level 27, so they're definitely, what? Higher level than we're, you know, we're catching before. Once again, I do, I will never figure that out. There it is, or maybe I will. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, nice, okay, so we got ourselves another Jigglypuff. I know we're looking for a Clefairy. I think we've just yet to find one. I don't know if we're in an area that can, but you know what, if we're gonna be catching Pokemon for a little while, since we haven't done this in a good while, I think it's worth our while to do, I will go ahead and, I know, see how Charizard's doing. Fred seems to, yeah, okay. Like maybe if I were, to do 
play with Eve? I don't think this is gonna work. I don't know how to make the Pokemon fly in the air like some people were saying I can do. Uh, Eve, Eve and Fred had a conversation about food and they got really excited, how cute. So we can do Sky Dash, but then we have to choose where we wanna go, which is not really what we want. So I have no clue. Like maybe if I were to go to our party, choose Fred. No, I don't see a way to do it. Okay, gotcha. It's still so cool that we can ride Charizard. Anyways, I wanted to use a lure and see how that ends up going. All right. And see how many cool Pokemon we can find in this area. Cause you know, the levels of the Pokemon here are pretty good. Good to rely on. Let's get this Pidgey, I guess. And we'll just get going. So a wild Pidgey it is. And boom. And I thought that we would be high enough level to tackle anything because we destroyed Silphco without it being too much of an issue. But no, we need a little bit of a higher level Pokemon. And that's sort of concerning to me. We still might run into a hard time, but I figured, you know, we'll cross a bridge when we get to it. We'll definitely spend our candies before we get there. Charlotte and I think Fred were almost at level ups. So we're gonna put that Pidgey away. And we also need to start sending some Pokemon into uh, the Professor because I think he'll give us extra candies for that. Only of the type that we send in though. Okay, there's a Growlithe again. Looks like it's a tiny Growlithe, so that'll be adorable. Okay, so ready, go. That, that's not the way I threw it. <laughs> uh, whoop. Yeah, that was great, cool. So. Ah, uh, not quite. I can't believe he busted out of that one. Come on, he's gonna act all ferocious, but in reality, he's just adorable. That was an excellent, so that should definitely, hopefully, catch him. But we're definitely getting a lot more experience per catch. It's just harder to catch them now. I mean, I don't wanna start using Ultra Balls until we get to maybe more difficult things, but. I don't know. We got 356 experience for that one. Not bad, that's gonna be level for Tonka and Charlotte, not Fred and Charlotte. Very nice to see, so Tonka's level 39 and Charlotte, big 4-0 right there. I like it. So there we go, we get ourselves another Growlithe. We have a lot of Growliths at this point, like at least like six or seven of them. Oh, there's another Pidgeotto. Let's get the Pidgeotto. If I could get a lot of those and transfer those in, that'd be good. Go for it, no, the what, what in the world was that? I don't know. Now, oh, that was way off. It's tough when they start moving around like that. That's definitely when it gets difficult. Come on. Ah, I didn't catch you. I might actually have to use a berry for you. Bag, how many berries do I have? I have like not many, so I don't wanna use too many here. Let's try a pin up berry. I mean, I think that only increases their chances of giving us an item. So maybe that wasn't worth our while, but let's give this a shot, come on. Ah, man, you are too tough. And now. Oh, why was it off to the side like that? I may never know. Come on. Oh man, am I really gonna have to use an Ultra Ball for you? Let's try it, because you are putting up such a fight. I have 40 of these things. It was a great throw. Let's see if this heightens our chances whatsoever. Come on, yes, there we go. So call with the Ultra Ball is a Pidgeotto. Very cool. All right, 302 experience because it was a great throw, successful catch and technique bonus. And we got four candies there. So that's pretty good. 302 experience, nice to see. And we're gonna put Pidgeotto away in our box. So we have called a Pidgeotto before. We usually have a Pidgeotto in our Pokedex. You look so happy. For it looks like he can still carry you with no problem. That's good. I'm glad we're not too heavy. Oh, there's another one. Let's try to get those combos going on as much as we can. All right, so another Pidgeotto. Now, ooh, not a bad throw. Could have been a little bit better. Come on. Nice. All right, you caught a Pidgeotto. So that's two in a row. That's 340 experience for that one, wowee. So that's definitely like, this is faster than battling, I feel. Like once you really get into it and just like go, 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 it's definitely faster than battling. So I think our lore, oh gosh. Speaking of which, it wore off. We're just gonna use another one. Let's see what else we can run into. I feel like moving on Fred is a little too fast sometimes, especially for a small area. Eradicate, you ruined my combo. Dude, oh well, it's fine. So let's get ready and go for it. Nice, we get an excellent. That was super duper cool. And got it. How wonderful is that? All right, you caught Eradicate. So uh, that's 743 experience for the successful catch, excellent throw, first throw and technique bonus. That is so much. Wow, we and Kobe got to level 38 because of it. Crazy exciting. 
Okay, so... Of course, we've already called Eradicate before, so it's not too big of a surprise with all those numbers. Should we get another Jigglypuff? I mean, I feel like we need to continue our combos whenever we can, so let's just go for the next Eradicate. It's a tiny one as well, so maybe that'll help. I really don't know. You're jumping around all over the place. Oh, that was a bad throw. If it was an excellent, it would have been a great technique bonus, so it probably isn't gonna be as much experience this time, and it's not even a catch. I really should switch. I don't think we need the Ultra Ball for Eradicate. We can just stick with the Great Ball, and I think we'll be doing just fine. Now, yeah, we get the excellent throw, so, I mean, Raticates and Raditas are some of the easiest Pokemon we've caught so far. I say that, but then we're, we're struggling so much, but you know what I mean. Just like in general, like their actual patterns and how little they move, uh, that was that was just me being bad. All right, yeah, I know you're gonna jump around a little bit. Oh, come on. Ready, now. Because I know you're about to jump again, and I'm trying to prevent that. Okay, come on. Yes, there we go. So we go with the Great Ball instead of the Ultra Ball. So I just wasted a couple of them, to be honest with you. We got Eradicate. I didn't see how much experience that was. 1,620, why? I didn't even see. Wow, wait, why was that so much experience? And Eve grew to level 43, Friday grew to level 40. That was insane. What did you have? <laughs> Maybe because you were extra small? Wow, weird, you're only a foot tall. Half the height as of an average Eradicate. Okay. Very weird. I, I don't know why we got so much experience for that one. Especially since we missed so much. Let's get another Eradicate. I know that Lily is level 45 now, so we technically can go to the gym leader, but if I can just continue a good combo going on for now, that would be excellent. Oh, and it's an excellent throw. This could be the first one. This could be a ton of experience as well. Come on. Yes! Okay, that should be good experience. I really hope we'll try to pay attention to the multiplier this time. Uh, 3.6 times multiplier. Uh, successful catch, excellent throw, first throw, technique bonus, and combo bonus for 810 in total. We get seven candies for that one. How crazy is that? It's gonna be level up for Charlotte and Tonka. We're just getting level ups like crazy. It's insane, I love it. It was definitely faster than going through trainers. Like way faster. I didn't think that was gonna be the case, but it really is. Okay, so we'll try to look for one more Raticate at the least. I mean, I guess we'll keep going into my Laurel. Runs out, oh, it's another Pidgeotto. Okay, it's huge, so this could be a good one. I think we will, you know, we've only, we have not been able to catch one without, <laughs> let's also try to not make sure we accidentally use our Master Ball or anything. That'd be so funny if I used like a Master Ball against like a Rattata or something silly like that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, was hoping for, you know, a first time catch there. First throw, but honestly, my throw wasn't very good. Oh, come on, that so totally was an excellent, but okay, okay, no excellent for me, but is it a catch? You bet! Okay, so for the second throw, looks like we caught ourselves another Pidgeotto. How much experience? 302, that's okay. Not too bad. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'll just keep going until my lore runs out, and we'll do some management before we go and take on the trainer then. So let's see, we got some Growlithe, we got another Jigglypuff. Really not too many rare Pokemon in this area. So there we go, we're gonna head out of here, head back into Saffron City, and I mean, we don't have to heal up, because you know, <laughs> there was no battles happening there. I do sort of enjoy not having to battle the Pokemon, only have to worry about catching them. I've really enjoyed how this game is structured. Anyways, let's figure this stuff out. We have yet to check out the candies and I'm well due for doing it. So our candy jar is right here. And what we gotta do is we have like rare candies. Now with these, as you can see, a candy that is packed with energy when consumed, it will instantly raise the level of a single Pokemon by one. We do not wanna use these yet because it's not that difficult to raise the level of the Pokemon. Once they get so high level that they're like upper 80s, 90s levels, that's when you wanna use these because then it takes so much work to level up the Pokemon. Um, we have quick candies. A candy that is packed with energy when given to a Pokemon, it will increase the Pokemon's speed stat. So like we have 37 of these. I don't know if we should divvy, the, uh, divvy them up. Needs two, like what does that mean? Needs one. Lily got stronger. Needs one. So I guess they need one to get stronger, but like somebody like Tonka is gonna need two to get stronger, or not. See, what do you mean needs? I have no clue. Oh, so when I do that, it's gonna give him three. Gotcha. Okay, so like, what what is your speed stat? You're a 109 now. Tonka 
is a 104. He's a bigger Pokemon, so it makes sense that he needs more candies to increase something like speed. Eve is already incredibly fast. So I'll just try to divvy these up between these guys. I don't have like any kind of rhyme or reason with it. I mean, I'm not really good at Pokemon stats or anything, you know? Not really my forte but we'll just give people candy and hopefully it'll help. I mean, this is my final team, so I think it'll be worth focusing on. I definitely think Kobe needs as many stats as he can get. He's always had a hard time keeping up with the levels. So if we could assist him in any possible way. So Kobe needs more now to actually get some extra speed, which makes sense. But I really just wanna boost him up as much as possible. I mean, Charlotte, how is Charlotte doing on speed? She's a little low, so maybe we'll give the rest to Charlotte, which isn't too many. So there's our quick candy gone. And if you guys have any suggestions on where I should give the candy where, you know, I would love to hear it. So this is a mighty candy, candy that is packed with energy. When given to a Pokemon, it will increase that Pokemon's attack stat. And for this, I would love to give something like this to Tonka. He has a very low attack stat. He's more of a tanky kind of character, so if we could boost his attack stat a lot, I think that would be a good idea. And I think same thing to, to, to Fred. I was gonna say Charlotte, but I feel like more Fred. Let's see if we can't get him to 100 here. Right there, he's gonna need two for this one. That's fine. So he has 100. And then back to Tonka. He is not even at 90. So if we could just get him to 90 here, that'd be great. And there we go. So now we have the Pikachu candy. This is our first Pokemon specific candy. A candy that is packed with energy. When given to a certain Pokemon, it will increase all of their stats at once. And we're just gonna give those to Pikachu because, you know. So this doesn't grant them extra levels or anything. It just grants them better stats, which is perfect for us because that's what we really need right now is our Pokemon to be as boosted as possible. So these are very cool. And as far as I understand, if we give some of our repeated Pokemon that we've caught a lot of to Professor Oak, he will give us candy for that Pokemon specifically. We're gonna find out soon enough after this. So there we go, you're very strong now. We got a Courage Candy, candy that is packed with energy when given to a Pokemon, it will increase their special defense stat, which I don't know who we should really give this to. Maybe some of the weaker Pokemon like Kobe. Maybe he could use it. And we'll give another one to him. And then we got like Mighty Candy L, and it's basically the same thing, but it adds more strength this time. So we could do this and this should give, I mean, it still only gives one. Weird. But maybe it just, you know, for those times where you would need four to get plus one, maybe now you would only need two or something, you know? Um, and there's so many decisions to make with that, I'm not really sure. Like there's also quick candy, there's tough candy, which is gonna increase the defense stat. Smart candy, which increases a huge candy that is packed with energy when given to a Pokemon at level 60 or higher will increase the Pokemon's special attack stat. So we don't wanna do it any sooner than that. Weird. Um, so we'll just try to keep doing that. I don't want to spend all of them at once because, oh, you need four of them? Wow, wait. You are very smart as it is, Eve, apparently. Well, that's fine. There's one for everybody else. Um, with that being said, very interesting situation uh, with all of that. I don't know if I want to use all these because I, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe I can learn a little bit from it. But let's go to our Pokemon box real fast. And I want to take a look. Like, we have a lot, like if I sort these guys, by Pokedex number. I have a lot of them I can sort of cash in. Like we have four Pidgeys, I don't need four Pidgeys. So it's like, what's our highest level one is level 28? Then that means I can send to Professor and send these three as well. And then same thing with Pidgeotto, we have one, two, three, four, five Pidgeotos. What is my highest level one is level 28. So I can get rid of the other ones. Because why would we need more than one, you know? And then I definitely want to keep my Alolan Rattata, but what is our highest level normal Rattata? It looks like it's at level 17. 18, actually, over there. 25, 25, 28. Okay, so 28. So I'm gonna get rid of all the other ones, because why would I need them, you know? There we go, and same thing with our Graticate. We have six Raticates. We just need the level 28s. I don't think we've called anything that's a... Wait, I'm not done. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, so we got some Spearows as well. So that level nine is my highest. Oh, I can't do any more than that. You can only send 30 at a time. All right, here's a huge truckload of Pokemon. Do you want to send the Pokemon you've chosen to the professor? We'll see what happens, because those are very easy to catch Pokemon. If for whatever reason this is an awful idea, we will find out. You got a message back from the professor. Thanks for sending along those Pokemon. They will help a good deal with my research. And would you look at this? You sent me 18 Rattata. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Pidgeotto is quite a fine Pokemon. Radita is like getting socks at Christmas. It's just like 18 of them, great. That's it, I think you've earned some candy for all of your help in getting me. All right, so candies make your Pokemon stronger, so use them on your Pokemon you'd like to train well. So we got 26, okay, so I was totally wrong about the Pokemon specific candy. We get 26 quick, or 26, yeah, quick candy. That's such a 
a tongue twister. Quick Candy XL and Quick Candy L. Very interesting. Uh, you you sent me 30 Pokemon so far. You did a great aid. To, uh, you've, you're a great aid to my work, Zebra. Do keep on sending me more Pokemon. So we are going to do that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this Pikachu, I think. Uh, and then same thing with that Sandshrew, because it's our only one. We have two Nidoran, so I'm gonna probably get rid of this one. And then we have two Nidorinas. I'm gonna keep the, the higher level one. Nidoran, get rid of this one. Actually, we have more than 23, 23, okay. Three Jigglypuffs isn't necessary. And it's really this this rinse and repeat, you know? Cool. I mean, one of the only level six or seven doesn't really matter too much. Level 32 for you, actually, very high. Okay, I wanna keep that one Oddish. I wanna keep that one Gloom, Paris, Venonat, we'll keep the higher level one. Oh yeah, we have the Alolan Diglett. So what is our highest level Diglett? Looks like it's this level 18, okay. Two Psyducks, only one Persian, so I'll keep that. Mankey, I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'll get all the Growths we have, it's insane. So level 12, so level 16 is our highest one, but I think we have some higher level ones, like we have some level 17s, level 27 right there. Okay, that was level 28, okay, gotcha. So we're almost done with most of this. I know it's been taking a while, but it's worth doing, because we get all these candies that'll help our other Pokemon eventually. So yeah, it's been worth my time. I'll get rid of the lower level Cubone. I think that's all the repeats we have at the moment, so let's send those. I don't think I've selected anything. I, I don't want to get rid of. Thank you, my boy. This will help a good deal with my research. I would look at this. You sent me 10 Growlithe. I think you've earned yourself a reward. So we got ourselves Health Candy, Quick Candy, Smart Candy, Mighty Candy XL, Mighty Candy, Courage, Courage Candy, Mighty Candy L, and Tough Candy. So lots of different candies there. Uh, but that's all we're gonna send for now. That was a lot of fun to do, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're good. As set up as we can be to take on the gym leader. Let's hope this turns out well. We have the level 45 Pokemon, so we can't send us away. Show me a Pokemon that's at least level 45 if you want to challenge the Saffron City Gym. And we have it, we have Lily. No problem, that's a Pokemon that's at least level 45, all right. Well then, fly off to meet the gym leader, Sabrina. Okay, so let's read these as well. Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader Sabrina. Certified Trainer's Lion. So Lion has already defeated Gym Leader Sabrina. It says that on this one too. Okay, so we get these very familiar teleporting pads. Oh my, give me flashbacks from last episode. Oh, and they're sort of like, I wanna definitely try to take on as many trainers as possible. So I'll try to catch up with everything. This is gonna bring me to the left where there is you. You look like some kind of scientist. Hello. Are you scared of psychics that use unseen power? No. Should I be? I guess we're about to find out as we go against Psychic Johan. Very cool. He's not slow, bro. Okay, so like I was saying before, we don't have any really proper strength against Psychic types, but we also don't have anything that's gonna be too affected by the weakness of it. I don't know if Psychic is gonna get you know, like defensive against Psychic. Let's just try it, let's see what happens. Boom. Yeah, that didn't do very much, it's not very effective. You're gonna use Yawn. Are you gonna try to put Lily asleep? I should probably put somebody else out in front that isn't Lily. Lily started to get drowsy, but didn't get taken out. So let's go ahead and do Dig. And we'll just try to hit you with that as hard as we can. But are you also water type? Because if you are, I'll definitely switch out to Eve. And I think I'm gonna put Eve on front. You fell asleep on the ground. <laughs> no way, you came out of the ground. Okay, you know what? I'm so switching to either that or Charlotte. Oh my gosh. That actually didn't do any damage. Or I mean, I guess it did a little bit, but. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Eve. Just for now. Switch. And let's see what happens. Lily, you did great out there. I mean, for the situation. So Eve, we're probably just gonna make her do Zippy Zap. <laughs> Here we go again. Falling the whole city. Wow, that actually did more damage than ex expected that time. Okay, let's fight. And we're gonna do Zippy Zap, just so we can immediately get some damage out. We can attack first with it. And it should be a critical, it should be pretty gosh darn good. Not enough to one hit you. Oh, that's that's sort of disappointing. A critical hit though, of course, that's to be expected. Okay, so this is bad because it means Eve's gonna go to sleep in a moment. But if we could just take you down real fast, it'd be great. So Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Yes, okay, it's gonna work. So I'm not sure if Eve will still fall asleep. Uh, the posing is slow, but fainted. And you've got 700 experience, Lily got 700. Who are you going to send out next though? Oh, and that now you're asleep, yeah. Okay, so send out Kadabra. I will switch Pokemon 
and I think we'll just go with Charlotte. I think Charlotte's our best bet. Level 41, she can use her Petal Dance or whatever it's called, and that'll do some good damage. Okay. So Kadabra, what level are you? This has been a, this is already a tough gym, and this is the first trainer. I don't know why the difficulty jumps so high for this one. Let's just do Petal Dance. You're gonna use Psychic, which I don't think it's gonna be all that, you know, crazy effective. Oh no, that hurt a lot. It's super, wait, wait, why is it? Because we're poison type, I'm a dingus. Oh my gosh, whoa, that was really good though. <laughs> okay, keep that in mind though. Psychic is good against poison. I always forget that Charlotte is part poison. But there we go, we took you down and we defeated Psychic Jordan. I never foresaw all this. So at this point, I don't know if I should go back and heal up because I might really need it. What are psychic types afraid of? Well, there are a few things, I guess. Ghost types and bug types. Oh, and dark types too, which we just don't have any of that right now. So like, I just really, probably I'm gonna go back and heal real fast just so I can deal with that and then I should be fine because you can do it. I mean, I think you're allowed to just leave, heal up and come back whenever you want. Okay, so I think I went through this one last time. I'm a little lost. Oh wait, yeah, this is the right way. So I'm gonna try to take on every trainer I possibly can, because I feel like the, you know that'll give us the best experience first and foremost. But before I take on any more trainers, I oh wait no that just brought me back here. What? <laughs> okay, I, I do need to change our po party's order. I probably want to put Pikachu out at first, just because you know they're our second most powerful Pokemon behind Lily at this point. So it just might be our best bet. Okay, so let's go through this one then. I haven't been through this one, right? Or is this just like a dead end? Oh no, that bring, brought me up here. And through this one. Okay, let's try to go to the left. And where does it bring me? Right here, perfect. So I can go ahead and talk to you. Oh, you're one of the, uh, you must be a lost trainer. You're not a psychic, you're one of the ghost ladies. Okay, let's take you on. Joined by Channeler. Stacy, their names are channelers, yeah. Okay, so you sent out Haunter, so it would have been fine to have Lily out for this one. Probably should have thought about that, but fine, we can make this work. Uh, because you're actually weak to Psychic. I mean, you're also, well, you also do Dark, so I mean, I don't know, weird situation. Let's go ahead and just do Thunder, right off the bat and see how much damage we can do. Hopefully it's good. Uh, yep, yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Level 40 Haunter taking down a one hit. Easy stuff. So 560 experience, do you have any other Pokemon? Haunter again. Okay, so we will switch Pokemon. I'm just gonna switch over to Lily, just because if I can use our advantages now, that's always the best thing to do. This is definitely gonna be our toughest gym yet. I'm a little you know, surprised by how tough this is. Like, did I miss a gym? Am I doing this out of order? I really don't know at this point, because I know we had the flute to wake up Snorlax, but I think this is what we're supposed to be doing right now. Like, I don't really know. I just sort of went with the flow, and here I am. Okay, so let's just try Psychic. It should, actually that might have been wrong. Uh, we'll find out. Ooh, it's super effective. That's not gonna work then. I'm getting it mixed up. It's it just dig is good. Or maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't know how I get it mixed up so often, but I always will. All right, well Haunter's taken down. And that was a lot of experience, very good. Kobe grew to level 39, that's nice to see. Unfortunately, we probably won't be using him too much here. Chandler Stacy's taken down without too much of an issue. Lost and yet so strong. I don't think we're lost. We, I mean, we're sort of lost because this teleportation thing is confusing. You're lost, but still trying to reach the gym leader, right? Try aiming for for higher platforms. I would love to. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the right again, because I know there was a trainer to the building to the right. Oh, and here it is. Oh, that was lucky. Hi. Sabrina is younger than me, but she has earned my respect. Sabrina's the leader. So, okay, interesting. So is Sabrina like our age or character's age? Ace trainer Amanda. Not Jinx. Ooh, cool. So Jinx is, I think, an ice type. So this might not be the best combo. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so we'll just do. Z uh, let's do Thunder. They they avoided it. Lovely kiss. Oh my. This doesn't look like it's gonna be very lovely. Ew. No, oh, no, and we're asleep. <laughs> it knocks us out. He fell asleep. Let me go ahead and just try this now because I've been meaning to. Where is our Pokemon flute? Can we use that in battle? I don't think we can. So I guess that's not something we can do. Uh, should we just do Awakening? It might be worth it. Just wake you up. I mean, she could just do the kiss again, which would be a pain in the butt, but let's hope she doesn't do that. Evoke up! And you're gonna use Psychic, which honestly shouldn't do 
too much of a number? That did quite a number, I don't know. So let's try Thunder this time. Is Electric good against Ice? Because I think she's Psychic Ice. Uh, not really, the Posing Jinx, oh, that might actually take out Eve. Wow, we what a tough battle already. We run into some hardships left and right all over the place. Oh, poor Eve. Uh, let's go to Fred. And we're just gonna go ahead and try this out because it's fire. Fire will be good against ice. I would hope. Um, so let's fight and we're just gonna do, we're just gonna do Ember. I would love to do fire spin, but I don't think now's a good time. We are a little bit under leveled compared to Jinx. It's super effective. Uh, you're gonna use Psychic again. Please just don't one hit me. I don't think it would, but at the same time, okay, it did hurt, but I think it hurt Eve a lot more. Okay, go for this one. Got it, and it's super effective. At this point, I don't wanna run all the way back to the healing place, so I might actually use a revival on Eve and just use some potions and stuff. Nice experience for Fred right there. That's 40, or level 40, level 41 now. Very cool, I like it. Okay, so Ace Trainer Amanda's been defeated. Regrettably, I have lost $4,000 for winning. Cool, that's a lot of money. Uh, in a battle of equals, the one with the stronger will wins. If you wish to beat Sabrina, focus and and will yourself to victory. Just like a psychic. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our, not our party. What well, is good to see, you know, who needs what. But let's go to our bag, go to our medicine pocket. I'm gonna use a revive. I have a couple of these, 13 of them. So it should be fine to use one uh, on Eve. Then our potions. I just need a super potion, I don't need a hyper. Like a hyper is 120, Eve doesn't even have 120 health, here's 119. And then use another one with Fred, and then just use a normal, I should have a normal potion, just use that on Lily. And we should be back and ready to go. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think Lily's asleep anymore, I think once the battle ends, those kind of things also end, and it looks like it. Okay, so we're good to go through this one, and I hope that it brings me to somewhere new. Uh, No, it's bringing me back over this way. Well then I am rather confused on, maybe if I go back through this one. Uh, yeah, okay, brings me back here, that's good. Because I don't think I've gone to this one to the right. I may be wrong, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah, it just brings me back over here. Which might be a good thing, because I don't know if I've ever tested out this one. Hmm. Now it just brings me back here, it's so confusing. Uh, let's try this. Maybe it'll work. I don't know if we've tried it. No, that just brings me way back down here. <laughs> oh my gosh, try it again. It is so weird. I mean, I'll have to just try every possible combination, right? So I don't think we've tried the one on the, no, we have tried the one on the bottom left. I don't think we've tried the one on the bottom right. It leads me back here again. How tricky. So we haven't tried this one then. No, whoa, oh, yeah, okay, here we go. On a whole nother set of buildings. Okay, so there's one this way. Where does this lead me? Just over this way, where we have another one of you dudes. Okay, hi. Sabrina is young, but she's also our highly skilled gym leader. I won't let you reach her easily, if you say so. We could have just dodged you, but all right. So we got Ace Trainer Cameron. So not Kadabra. So Eve should be doing okay against Kadabra. If we do Thunder right off the bat, that should make it work. Does using a revive restore our moves? I, I doubt it. Yeah, we're still at seven out of 10 for Thunder. Just gotta keep that in mind. Oh, you avoided it, really? Why do they always avoid it? <laughs> now you're using light screen, so I might not wanna use that. Uh, let's fight. I mean, like, Thunder does 110, Floaty Fall does 90. Well, let's just try Zippy Zap. Come on, come on. Let's get that nice and easy critical. Wow, that was plenty enough. Wowie, awesome stuff. I don't think a character like or, or Pokemon like Kadabra would have very high defense, and it does make sense. Okay, so another Kadabra, so we could just rinse and repeat. Why not? If that's gonna be the best bet, then that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's fight and do Zippy Zap. Come on, come on. Nice, okay. So at this rate, things are turning out pretty well. Almost at uh, level 44 with Eve. How oh, down and out. So actually, this is one of the first trainers we've gone against that wasn't really that big of a deal. There used to be two gyms in Saffron City. The fighting dojo next door lost its gym status though. We simply creamed them when he decided to have just one gym. <laughs> yeah, because you're psychic type, which is better than fighting. 
Poor guys, I mean, they're just trying to have a dojo. So we haven't gone against you. You're another uh, channeler. You and I, our Pokemon shall battle. I guess I shall. Okay, so this is, you were challenged by Channeler Amari. Cool. So now Haunter. So Haunter is fine for this situation, but like, obviously if we need to, we can switch over to Lily. Probably should have just done that before I went against a sh uh, Channeler. So you use Toxic. Uh, wait, were we not able to use the Thunder? Or they, like, did they dodge it? I think we just, they just dodged it. But maybe not. Uh, okay, I guess I dodge it. Let's just do Zippy Zap then, because that will always attack first. Come on. Ooh. Will that be a one-hit takedown? It will be, though. That is beautiful. So now what? I don't just exceed experience. Probably another ghost type, so I will likely be switching over to Lily. It's just easier that way to use the dig. Santa Haunter again. I will switch Pokemon and do Lily. We could even just do Psychic. Okay, come on back, Eve. Okay. Because Haunter is a ghost poison, right? So that should be fine. And Lily and Eve are both very close to level up, so. Fantastic progress. So I wonder what Pokemon the gym leader is gonna have then. Sabrina? That's her name, right? Or maybe then, no, maybe this lady's name is Sabrina. I don't remember. Anyways, level 44 for Eve. Very close to level up for uh, Lily. Haunter, we're just gonna keep going. But, yeah, I'm excited to see. I think she's gonna just have like some, like I don't know if she would have a Mew. I feel like that'd be a little weird. This Mew's supposed to be the super rare, unheard of Pokemon. Anyways, got this going on, and that's another Haunter taken down. Three Haunters. Three problems eliminated. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, good job. 568 experience is level 46 for Lily. I like it. So, so far we're handling this gym pretty decently. There have been some bumps in the road, but I feel like we've gotten our groove now. I lost after all. Lots of money. Okay, so I knew that this was going to take place. Yes, this ability is called pre precognition. Okay. Uh, where does this bring me? Way back over here. Oh, I haven't battled you yet, though. Perfect. The Saffron City Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Yes, I do. Okay, so with this one, so the we had a hard time against the other psychic as well. So let's try this. You're gonna send out Hypno right away. But now that we don't have Lily out, first and foremost, I think we can get some major work done, especially since you only have Hypno. As long as we can attack first, we might even be able to get a first hit takedown. Like, that'd be good with Zippy Zap. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh, not quite enough. You're gonna use Headbutt, though, which is luckily not that big of a deal. We are poisoned still, though, so we are taking a beating left and right. It's not badly poisoned, though, it's just poisoned. So let's try Thunder this time. Uh, And we get to use it right off the bat, that's perfect. And here we go. That should, oh wow, that was not enough to take you out. That, that's actually really surprising. Psychic might take Pikachu down, though. Ooh, scary, scary. Come on, Poison, don't do it to me. Thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do Thunderbolt to finish it off. And we'll just have to heal Eve up after this battle, because it's only Hypno, which makes this a whole lot easier. So a tough Pokemon, but they're only Pokemon. That's good. 691 experience, very nice. And we defeated Psychic Preston. Ah, <laughs> look at his Pokeballs fall to the ground. He like lost his psychic focus. That's right, the ability to read people's minds is called telepathy. Okay, so let's go to our bag again, because I think that we're just dealing with the gym leader next. Go to our medicine pocket. I'm gonna do a, I mean, I could do full heal. I don't think it's quite worth it at the moment. We'll just do super potions like this, and then we'll do one more. And then I guess I'll just do antidote as well. Um, where's Antidote at? Right here. Got it. Very cool. And let's try this one, because we definitely haven't yet. Will it bring us where we need to go? Oh, it will! Look at us! We've made it! It's Sabrina! Hi! Ooh, what a cool camera angle. I like it. 
So you've come, I had a vision of your arrival. I have, have, I have had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when I carelessly threw a spoon aside and it bent itself into an unnatural shape. Maybe because you threw it. I just like battling, but if you wish to, then I will show you my power. Well, I'm actually a little frightened. She seems like she knows her stuff out of all the trainers so far. And the crowd is watching. You are challenged by Gym Leader Sabrina. Gym Leader Sabrina sent out Mr. Mime. Okay, so we haven't really gone against Mr. Mime too much. I think maybe once before. Okay. So let's fight and we'll just go ahead and throw out our strongest move first, Thunder. And you avoided it. That is like the third time that has happened in this gym. Why? <laughs> okay. Stronger against special moves. I don't know what a special move really is, so let's just try Zippy Zap. And at least with this, we can land the attack. And if it doesn't do too much damage, we know why. Ooh, but it still hurt, didn't it? Critical hit. You're gonna use Psychic, which will hurt as well. Ooh, not bad right there. We're only one level higher than uh, Mr. Mime. But that should be enough. Take you down. Gotcha, awesome. So, Mr. Mime is down. How many Pokemon do you have? Like two or three, I think? Probably three, that seems to be average for a gym leader. And you're gonna send out Slowbro, which I feel like is also a water, no, he has, she has four, but I don't know. I feel like it's like a psychic water or something. Yes, it is. Okay, this is the one we dealt with earlier. So, let me try Zippy Zap again before you try to make me fall asleep. Ooh, wait, was that? It's super effective, but it didn't really do much. You must have like really high defense. You psychic, oh, that's bad. Please, not too damaging. Oh, that's really damaging. Oh, what happened? Special defense fell. Eve is in a bit of a pinch. It looks like she might cry. Don't cry, Eve, we got this. Let's use thunder. Can we please attack first? Why? Why do they keep avoiding thunder? Thunder must just have like a low accuracy, so this might be Eve getting taken down, which is a really bad deal. Hmm. Because Charlotte's good against Slowbro because of the water, but also Slowbro's good against Charlotte because of the poison. But we'll try it. We will try it and see what ends up happening. Switch. And hopefully Charlotte can attack first. That would be a good advantage. So let's fight and pedal dance. Come on, land. I think it's only gonna land, yeah. Very good. So Slowbro is down. You have two more Pokemon left to deal with. We might have to, like, depending on what the Pokemon is, we might have to switch to a Pokemon we don't want to use too much, but then use that to revive Eve. 730 on experience, so it's a level up for Charlotte to level 42. And Jinx. I think we're gonna switch Pokemon. And maybe, Jinx is what Pokemon? Jinx is the ice type. So we could try Fred. Let's try Fred and see what ends up happening. I mean, it may not work out very well, but we gotta try. Come on, Fred, you can do it. Fight and Ember. Come on, come on. It does some okay damage for the two level deficit we have compared to Jinx. Are we gonna do the sleep move though? Ah, oh, man, I really wish we could use the Pokemon flute with that. Fred fell asleep. Okay, so I can't really make him fight at this point, so let's just use the bag and do what we gotta do with that. So, it is Awakening that we're looking for. And up you go, come on, good morning, rise and shine, Fred. You got a battle to do. And, uh, ooh, that really hurt, that was a critical hit. Okay, I might have to heal. I mean, I didn't wanna have to do that, but that stinks, because I really got him now. Let's just do a super potion, use it on Fred. That won't get him all the way back up, but hopefully a backup enough that we can survive. I don't know, it's really tough right now. This is not an easy battle. I mean, we still have the advantage, but only to an extent. Jinx is a really tough one. Not a critical hit this time, right? That's good to see. So as long as we can land Ember, like maybe if we could get a critical hit, that'd be appreciated. Not looking like it's super effective, but that's about it. Ooh, but you're burned! That's always good to see. Oh gosh, you're gonna use your psychic again. That might take it. Fred out. It will. I'm so sorry, Fred. I did what I could. So now we're down to we're, we're down to Pokemon. That burn could have been better. <laughs> Let's just go to Lily then. It's our best bet for right now. We'll probably just use Swift. Swift should be fine. Okay. Jinx has like this like weird look to her. Like she's not really thinking of nothing. Okay, let's use Swift. 
and still not enough to take you out. Jeez, I should just use Psychic. Don't, oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. I really don't like sleep moves because they're just like, they're so persistent, right? Oh, oh, awesome, Never mind. you shook yourself awake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, really? All right, we'll just do Swift again. We know it attacks first compared to most of her moves, so we should be good. And boom, see ya. Okay, so what is her last Pokemon? Hopefully something we can handle. Level 41 for Tonka, that's good. Say not Alakazam, keep battling. My best bet is either doing ground type moves or I don't know, because E was very good against, you know, uh, Kadabra. So let's just try Dig. <laughs> it might work out, it might not. You're gonna use Nightshade, which uh, uh, didn't really do much. Okay, so we're gonna dig and just sort of, let me gauge how much damage this really does. Psychic, but we're able to avoid that one. Then boom, not bad, we can do that again. Fight, and hopefully we can actually get under there faster than they can do anything. Psychic again, shouldn't take us out, right? Oh yeah, not much, not very effective. Very good, let's just go back underground then. What level is this Alakazam? Level 44. See, if we're level 45, then we're a higher level than everything in the gym. So that's interesting, that's a requirement. Boom, got it. Okay, so the opposing Alakazam fainted after losing three Pokemon. That was really tough, but we got 989 experience for it, not bad. And we beat gym leader Sabrina, it was very hard fought. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. $7,000 for winning, oh my gosh. She looks so upset. <laughs> Your victory has earned you a Marsh badge. Yeah, we did it! So another gym leader, our fifth in total now, taken down. You got a Marsh badge from Sabrina. A Marsh badge raises the level of Pokemon that, you, that will obey you to level 60 for Pokemon that you have received from another trainer. And wait, please take this TM with you. You got TM33 Calm Mind from Sabrina. Okay, TM33 is Calm Mind. It makes a Pokemon concentrate to boost both its special attack and special defense in battle. Psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. Very cool, I like it. You have anything else to say? Psychic power isn't something, yeah, okay, nothing else. All right, Eve, we did it, we won! Eve is shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> I hope that's because you're happy and not in pain. So there we go, look at all these weird characters watching us from the, from the side. Okay, so we did it, we defeated our fifth gym leader, we had a lot of fun with it, even though it was very challenging. Psychic power, huh? Man, if I had that kind of power, I'd... Oh, and then I could also... <laughs> and nobody would even know. Okay, have fun with that. So there we go, at this point I think Saffron City is pretty well completed, we've done a lot in the city, we have you know, saved Sylph Co, we have defeated the gym leader, we defeated the old gym, the fighting gym. Lot has gone on. Oh wait, I'm, not, I'm in the wrong place. I'm trying to get my Pokemon healed. I'm not trying to, you know, join Sylph Co again. But yeah, that was a ton of fun. I had a good time with it. Hopefully you guys did too. We're gonna go ahead and heal our Pokemon and then we gotta make plans for where we wanna go next. Of course, we can wake up uh, Snorlax now so that we can maybe go somewhere else from there. So that might be what we have to work on next because at that point, I'm, I'm like pretty unsure about what else we could even tackle. But there we go. There is our team all healed up. And let's take a look for ourselves because I know that when we were, we go check this out. We are right now at Saffron City. We've already been to Vermilion City, which Vermilion City was not where it was, right? Cause I'm like, it goes to Route 12. But what we're lo really looking for, I think is just going south from Lavender Town, we could do it. I mean, I think that was also here on Route 11. It might, I might be right. Okay. Cause for whatever reason, I remember it being Cerulean City, but I think that's wrong. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just going down to Lavender Town, and then I guess we'll be trying to trek over this way to Fuchsia City, but I don't know what's to the left of Celadon. I mean, eventually we get onto this bridge, so I mean, both of them both seem to lead to Fuchsia City, so maybe we should next episode go from the right way and then go from the left way the episode after, and then the episode after that explore Fuchsia City. I'm not really sure, but maybe you guys can help me figure out. But for now, I think that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Psychic Zebra so you've watched the end of the year, a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.